morning. I'm Hal Adams, uh, NextNav GNSS Solutions by Accord Technology. Um, welcome you all here. Uh, we are basically not doing ADSB. I'd like to be clear. <laughs> we enable ADSB, and I sometimes in the last five to ten years I wish we did because we get that awful. Awfully, uh, awfully big question, when can I get it from you? We enable the people who are actually doing the ADSB. So I just want to be clear about that. So I'm going to do my usual info marshal this morning. And uh, we've, we, we really do provide the GPS solutions from drones to uh, Dreamliners. And basically everything in between. And I think you'll get a hint for that this morning. And I just want to give you a quick refresher course. Uh, we're an OEM to OEM supplier and uh, been leading in this industry since about 2008 when we uh, did a lot of firsts in the industry. We were the first people to get a TSO-145B, and by the way, the only ones, because that lasted three months. And uh, TSO-145C, LPV, GPS, we were the first people to do that. ADSB compliance, we were the first people to do that. And uh, we are the only people right now to have OEM uh, CCAs for GPS applications. And uh, we've been working with the FAA, and we have approvals for all of that. We comply with the TSOs as well as 2165 Alpha for ADSB, and uh, meet, of course, since we meet the FAA requirements, we meet the worldwide requirements for ADSB. And uh, it's integrated into most uh, avionics around the world in one form or another, FMSs, transponders, etc. And it's basically NextNav on the inside. And that's what we're going to be talking about. This is what we do. We take our receivers, we put them in our LRU, or we embed them and host, they're hosted in somebody else's uh, avionics. And that's what we do. Next nav on the inside. Uh, right now we have uh, a dedicated ADSB, that's a TSO 145C, beta 1 only, that is, uh, was basically born of the requirement for ADSB to get the price down. But it's also a very capable navigator, does everything else that. Uh, you would want down to and supporting uh, LNAV and barrel weighted VNAV. Uh, and we also do the LPV card, which you uh, probably have seen around the industry, that supports, uh, I say LPV card, beta 1, 2, 3, much more, more integrity and a little more accurate. Um, we also are the only people actually supply certified CCAs to the industry. Uh, and this will just give you a little recap. You've probably seen this AEA presentation. I hope it's up to date. That shows where our basic uh, solutions will be found, either embedded, hosted, or as an LRU in certifications and SDC applications, and expanding every day. So what's new, real quick? Basically, it's called a Traffic Awareness and Warning System, or TABS, which I think is its third iteration and name. I think this one will stick. And in October of 2014, it was issued. It's based on a, a lower power MODES along with an off-the-shelf commercial non-avionics GPS. Class A version is TSOA equipment. Class B is, a, is exempt from the TSO, one, or sorry, from 178 for software and 254 for complex electronic hardware. And it is embedding an, uh, a reduced 160 and using a commercial GPS position source. However, we took that, uh, sorry, and it, to increase the safety in the airspace, it brings in a lot of aircraft or platforms that were exempted before and typically uh, brings those in now to the ADSB environment. And it's, it's basically like gliders, hot air balloons, but very importantly, aircraft that don't have an uh, electrical system or a certified electrical system need to think about that. Uh, and that makes it visible to other people. Uh, basically, this is what it is, and I'm not going to go into it except that we meet all of the software design assurances and SIL that the experimental aircraft are now using, and it comes in three formats. And it is another industry first, and as once I say again, it's next now on the inside, and if you really want to see what it looks like, it's here. If it gets any smaller, I'm in trouble. Thank you. Aero News Network's coverage of the 58th Annual AEA International Convention and Trade Show, live from Dallas, Texas, is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Avidyne provides innovative avionics solutions for general aviation aircraft, including the IFD 540 and IFD 440 FMS GPS NAVCOMs with geofill, hybrid touch, and full ADSB capability.
The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADSB ATX100 and ATX100G transceivers are the next gen ADSB solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com.